Okay, so I'll make this very brief. It won't be the highest quality of video. But I wanted to see how Grand Theft Auto Vice City played. I know a lot of people were talking about... Uh, not so much that it looked terrible, but it was very buggy. So, in my opinion... This looks pretty alright. It doesn't look... Okay. Come on. Really? What's going on? Quicksand. Am I sinking through the floor? I am. Unbelievable. Yeah, so it doesn't look terrible. I just want to walk through to see what we've got. It seems very saturated. I don't know if that's a graphic style, so no big deal there. But, like, walking down this street at night, this actually does look pretty damn modern. This looks good. Um, again, playing on a 3080... The stuttering may be my computer, because I get that, but uh, I don't know. I kind of feel as though anybody should be able to attain this level of detail, level of imagery, um, quality, and I don't think they're going to be able to, especially not on console, which is kind of crazy to me. Like here, we have a lot of fog, and uh, the moon, that's a pretty high quality texture. The sky looks beautiful. Because that's probably actually volumetric. So we're going to go in. Get a shirt. What do I look like? Oh my god. Um, Not terrible. Doesn't look like Tommy. Nice bike. I'm going to take that from the Fonz over here. Yeah, see, we still get some lag. And I, I don't understand that. No, 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 dude. It's part of your destiny. Uh, you've had that happen to you a hundred thousand times, you just don't know it, because you're not real, you're an NPC. Now, let's get over here. Yeah, so when you go around a bunch of cars, I personally lag a lot. If someone has my uh, same graphics card, the same rig and setup, then obviously it's me, but... I don't know. Because I do very well on Grand Theft Auto V, with all these settings. Somebody in another review said something that is very true. They said the textures look good when you're standing still, but when you're driving, they don't. And you can see how much it repeats. Which, again, I'm not complaining about, but it is true. When you get close, they look great. Oh, are we going to get a copyright strike? What the hell is that? Alright, we're going to move past this so we don't get hit with a copyright strike. But a lot of these people look like they're fresh out of a morgue. With like that yellowish type of skin tone. Oh my god, are you kidding me? <sighs> god. Then, then shut up. Then go work as a waitress somewhere. <laughs> it must, must be very tough. Yeah, see, you get some frame rate drop there. But it looks pretty good, cop. I like that, though the police are patrolling. See you around, handsome. And again, we're going to keep taking a look through the city. I like it. Yeah, it's definitely not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Again, I don't think that the source of the contention was even the way it looked. Rather, the optimization as well as the bugginess. Ooh, a Kuntash. Um, yeah, the optimization doesn't feel good. Again, it could be my graphics card, but I really don't know. What are these textures like? <clears throat> that looks okay. Yeah, the worst part, too, is since this was done by another studio, and, uh, the little inside jokes, like the hot dog, uh, advertisement and things like that, um, it feels like they kind of got lost in translation. Like, these were done by people that... You know, we're this middleman that had no idea about the, the language used, like the types of jokes and political play on word humor that Rockstar traditionally uses. And because of that, when they're correcting them, they're like, oh, well, I guess it's meant to say this without realizing it's meant to be, again, a play on words or puns or something. Let's check out the, um, ooh, let's check out the environments. The Just take a look. Out over the ocean. Yeah, you can see it needs some volumetric fog. Am I using that word right? Am I using the word volumetric right? Or can I just say fog, a plane of fog? Um, because it really, 
destroys the illusion of scale. Um, it kind of stunts your sense of wonder. We are like, yeah, I know what's out there. A big, very obvious barrier. You don't manage to look out there and... and now, granted, the original game may have been like this. So I could just be talking out my ass. But I noticed that that's a big problem with San Andreas. Is that, um... There is no... There's no fog. And it just destroys that... Yeah, like, look at that lag right there. Come on. Dude, I feel bad for the people on console. I always think of them first because... I feel like that's a very large player base. There you go. You got a little boat out there that's moving around. I'm out of breath. Okay. Doesn't look half bad. Could have added some reflections to the windows. I love that little plane flying through the sky. That looks good. Looks all right. Yeah, the, again, the environment does look okay. It looks pretty cool. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with this game. Oh, the mall. Can we enter? Yeah, this looks all right. Do I have enough? See? <laughs> you got a thief. A thief hauling ass. Um, again, look at my frame rate dropping. Is this just me? But then, no. Man, I'm on a 3080. I'm on a 3080. This shouldn't be happening. I, I think that... I think there comes a point where it becomes relatively inexcusable. Ooh, that cop just got laid out. You know what? I'm going to take that, guys. Don't worry. No police report will be filed. Can we go up the escalators? They function. <clears throat> yeah, a lot of a lot of frame rate drop. Yo, get out my set, son. I don't know what that means. I'm from the suburbs. That uh, that language doesn't translate well. <clears throat> it's a shame. Maybe it's because is it because I have the HDR on? Is it because uh, what a shame? Maybe it's because of the HDR. There's this cop chasing a thief, but they're on different levels. Yeah, I definitely think it was the HDR that was doing a lot of it. I'm just going to be a vigilante here. Uh, now the cops are going to be after me. God, what a weasley sounding cop. I like the HDR. It's a shame. Alright, can I get out of here? Yeah, these NPCs just seemed all bugged, but I don't know if that was in the original game or if that was something else, because they all just walk into stuff. Again, this is a very old game, so I can't go after the ambience of it. Uh, ambience of it. Uh, but I don't like the performance at this point. That's very disappointing. We'll check out the beach, which is something that we probably should have checked out first. That looks so good. Yeah, I definitely went in with way too much of a pessimistic standpoint, thinking that this was going to look awful, but I, I really don't think it does. This, yeah, that it looks good. It really does. Again, so strange not being here in over a decade. Probably, what, 15 years or something? What the absolute fuck is that? Now, you don't get to pull that ET stuff and then just casually walk it off. And of course, because it is Vice City, um, a game based in Miami, you can't swim. Which only, I guess that's logical in some world. I keep hearing this sliding and it's these pedestrians, these NPCs that are stuck under the sand. Like, to me, what would make this look so much better is if you had some fog. For good pizza, you totally have to go to Shack. If you had some, and, and the audio sounds horrible, but that's a given. Uh, yeah, if you had some type of fog that would add a sense of wonder to the distance, I think there is a little, maybe, or is that just the objects coming in and out? I like the way it looks. There, there, I hear it, I hear it. God, that is so creepy. It's like out of the movie Tremors, where they're underneath the sand, and then when you least expect it... <laughs> you can hear them. It 
like the outcasts of society, those that have been exiled and are forced to live under the beaches of Miami. Yep, like, I don't know why that person is now dead. She tripped and fell on something. I hear it, I hear it. Incredibly strange. <clears throat> Maybe this could have been worked on too. Maybe there could have been more of a way... I don't know how to explain it. Um, some type of modern modernization of the spawn system so that pedestrians don't just... That's what I'm saying. Uh, so pedestrians don't just appear out of thin air, but they do. Oh, here we go. I finally get to experience it. The famous, infamous, infamous rain. Let's see how it looks. I'll act like it's the first time of my, uh, my viewing this. So the fog looks awesome. The fog looks cool. It does add to it. Maybe it would be a little bit nicer to add some type of hue. I don't know. Uh, like a tint. The rain almost comes off. I can't believe it's three-dimensional. The rain almost comes off as though it's a filter. It comes off as though you've just thrown it over the screen. And of course, of course, wet roads always look nice. Yeah, like, look at the, look at the lights shining off the street. That all looks great, but the rain, I have a feeling is going to look even worse when you're in a car. Sorry, buddy, I need this. Now we get to see. Yeah, the ra uh Okay, yeah, yeah, it doesn't look good. It looks like it's just thrown over. And correct me if I'm wrong, but is it true that the rain doesn't even... Like, that pop-in should also be unacceptable. Not as bad as I thought. Definitely not as bad as I thought. But it doesn't feel like it's raining. I mean, it, it's still... It's still kind of sunny out. It doesn't, uh... doesn't look like it's inclement weather. Okay, well anyway, these are just my humble observations. I gotta start playing the story mode now to really open up the rest of this game. Someone is getting lit up in the background. I don't know who that is, though. Okay. And I will see you next time. Is it this guy down here? Yeah, we'll see how this plays out. How's it gonna go? I'm gonna stick my foot so far up your ass.